finally, a two year delay and losing hope that this film would ever come out. Yes, it's a revolting review, and today I review The New Mutants. Okay, so, um, before we get going, I'm Random Ross, and, yeah, as I said, I'm reviewing The New Mutants. Yes, and it's a superhero movie that is on my horror channel, because this is a, well, it's a horror. It says it's an American superhero. Horror, it says it's an American horror film in the superhero genre based on the Marvel Comics uh, team of the same name, uh, distributed by 20th Century Fox or 20th Fox or, or tw 20th Century Studios. They're going with now. Um, this is the last X-Men related film that Fox have done before the Disney merger. Uh, this was meant to come out two years ago, around the spring of 2018, but got delayed a year because of it didn't want to compete with Deadpool or Avengers Infinity War. Um, it then got delayed again for reshoots and kept getting pushed back. Then early this year it got delayed again, so it couldn't catch a break due to the coronavirus pandemic. But now it is finally out, and I finally watched it. And this is directed by Jason Boone, stars Maisie Williams, Game of Thrones, Anya Taylor-Joy, Split, Charlie uh, Heaton, Stranger Things, Alice Braga, um, Blue Hunt, and Henry Zegger. So in this film, um, you know, New Mutant Charlie, who, uh, not Charlie, New Mutant Danny, sorry, uh, Danny Moonstar, um, her mutant power peaks, and that's when a mutant, you know, notices their powers when they hit their teen years, and she discovers she has some mutant power, and is unaware that her mutant power is to create people's fears and secrets and bring them to life, which she does do in this film, giving it the horror elements in this movie. Uh, we also have other mutants in there, including Wolfsbane or Rain, played by Maisie Williams, that has like a werewolf-like effect, so I liked her character. And we also get some other mutants, one that has the power to turn into fire, another one that can zoom around like a bullet or something, or a cannonball. And um, then there is Doctor... Um, what's her name? Uh, Dr. Reyes, who uh, has these power to create force fields and barriers to stop them from escaping, and she think they, they all think that she's teaching them to use their powers in a bid to help them join the X-Men, but soon discover that she's not doing that at all. She's weaponizing them for the Essex Corporation. Also, when um, Danny's powers become too much for them to control, she tries to kill her, and that's when they start to fight back. And of course, Danny's fear of a demon bear come to life, and all chaos soon breaks, and they have to face it all. And then they begin their life as new mutants. So, what did I like and what did I not like? Well, first of all, I love the performances in this from our actors. They were all great in it. Anya Taylor-Joy, I liked her character. I also liked the kid out of Stranger Things character and I loved Maisie Williams performance and her character. In fact, Wolf Spain is my favourite one because, you know, I love werewolves. Uh, so she was absolutely brilliant in this and I loved her performance as Wolf Spain. I will admit, despite me loving the X-Men, I know very little about the new mutants. See, for me, Marvel Comics was about Avengers and offend Defenders, all that stuff, but I... I'd, X-Men, but New Mutants, I never really looked into them much. I only knew a handful of these mutants in it. Uh, they do mention the X-Men in this, so I like that they mention X-Men in, in this, because it is set in their universe, and you know, that they were referenced, well, not referenced, but mentioned. Um, I also like the horror aspects of it, like, you know, 
Danny's powers being able to give people fear, bringing them to life and giving us that horror element. Now, I believe this is a PG-13, but where I am, it's a 15, and that means it's like an R rating. The UK equivalent of an R rated film. And I didn't really see much in that of it being R rated or 15. It could have easily passed as a 12 because there weren't as there weren't that much swearing or violence in there as as I thought it'd be. But that's the certificate they gave it in the UK. Um, I also like the visuals in this and some of the, like I say, horror elements, like the monsterness of it. Uh, I imagine if it wasn't for her powers, this wouldn't be considered a horror, but it is. And uh, it's said to be their first horror movie. Well, probably their last horror movie. Will they make a sequel to this? I doubt it, because since the merger they're gonna Marvel are gonna redo the X-Men and Fantastic Four I don't know when but I know that it's definitely inevitable and they will do that um, so you know who knows um, but yeah I, I find it very doubtful now that they will do a sequel to this given the delay it's had and now that Fox is owned by Disney uh, I just think they're gonna you know, if they do another New Mutants movie, it'll be done by Disney, and they'll probably recast the whole thing. Um, was this worth the wait? Yes and no. I mean, I was just happy to finally see this film. Uh, is it good? Yeah, it's good. But it's not brilliant. There were moments in the film where I... You know, almost thought about snoozing, but I'd managed not to. I managed not to. I managed to stay awake, and I kept uh, my eyes peeled and stayed awake. I thought this had good effects. Uh, there was some teen drama in there, given that these new mutants are teenagers, um, and I thought some of the teen drama in this was good. But again, this movie was sort of predictable. Like you know, this Doctor Woman isn't who she appears to be. So I didn't like that, that it was kind of predictable, but still, it, it was it was a pretty decent film. I mean, I do like superheroes and X-Men and all that. Um, so, ratings. Uh, I'm going to give The New Mutants... I think I'll give this three machetes out of five. So, it, it's an okay film. You know, I'm just not sure if it was worth the two-year delay or not. But anyway, that, that those are my thoughts. So... Let me know down in the comments below, have you seen this film? Uh, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, share with your friends, feel free to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and to hit that notification bell. All my social media links are linked down below in the description, so be sure to check all that out. Um, but, you know, so yeah, I've been Random Ross, this has been a revolting review on the new mutants at last. So yeah, until next time, don't have nightmares.